Hello, this is VJ Fader. Uh, in this video demo, I'm gonna show you how to capture EDMT visual music app into some of your favorite VJ applications like Resolume, Modulate, and AV Mixer Pro. I'm running EDMT on the Nexus 7 tablet uh, with a slim port adapter here uh, to output to HDMI. Uh, you can get this uh, little adapter for about 20 or 30 dollars. Uh, make sure you get the slim port adapter that goes from micro USB to HDMI. And then uh, what you will need is a some kind of a capture device. Here I have a uh, a very small capture uh, external capture box that will go from uh, HDMI uh, into uh, USB 3.0 connection, and it's a box by EMS uh, called VC100 uh, D. USB to HDMI. Uh, this box costs around uh, $300. It's a bit more expensive uh, because it's cross-platform. You can use it for Mac and PC without any drivers, without additional drivers. And uh, uh, it's pretty handy little thing. Uh, you can also get uh, other type of gaming uh, HDMI capture cards or devices from Avermedia or some other manufacturers. Uh, this one's from EMS. Um, so far it's been working, uh, but um, you have to get another device to actually make the setup work, which is this thing here, which is a 1 to 2 HDMI splitter. Well, this brand is called uh, Swiss. Uh, you can. Uh, the point of this box is apparently with Nexus 7, uh, it's HDCP protected, meaning that your device needs some kind of a handshake for the output to work through HDMI. Well, um, in our case, we're just trying to capture it into a VGA software, but it's not going to work. So you need a box like this to bypass HDCP. Uh, you can also find the other brand um, just like this, but make sure it looks like this with one input and it has two outputs on the back and it has a power supply uh, attached. So uh, once you got it, then you can capture HDMI uh, using uh, these capture devices, no problem. Uh, once you have everything connected, um, uh, here we've got the AV Mixer Pro running, and right now it's just uh, capturing the uh, built in uh, camera. So you're seeing me recording. So to get the input going, uh, you need to go ahead and uh, go into the uh, settings of the capture. Video capture uh, of the OS X, and here under sources, uh, you can see a list of uh, devices available where you have FaceTime HD camera, and then the X L one hundred D USB. So this is a device we want to use. for our uh, input. So once you have it selected, uh, click on OK. Again, to access this, you need to click on the uh, settings under the uh, video capture as your input source. Now you see uh, in the preview window, you see the video coming in. And now I have a full screen external monitor hooked up so you're seeing the full uh, output of what's being captured 
and you can see the resolution uh, is pretty nice because uh, natively it will output full HD video and the capture card is supposed to capture full HD um, and um, in terms of performance you can see it's super smooth on the tablet because it's sometimes it's doing up to 60 frames per second and with the capture you see slight dropping frames because it's doing 30 frames into the computer and coming out of the computer it will take a bit of uh, processing but in our case it's the result is pretty nice so with this you can apply uh, many different kinds of uh, effects um, you can apply some real-time effects and uh, as I mentioned uh, some of these, these scenes are uh, audio reactive so it will react to the music um, through the built-in microphone on the tablet so you can manipulate the graphics and apply real-time effects and uh, of course you can layer this uh, on top of other um, uh, VJ content so it's a really good example of how you can use uh, EDMT uh, during a live VJ set so you can have a jam going on uh, on the tablet in real time uh, have it sound reactive and have it composited on top of uh, other uh, VJ content, VJ loops that you have on your computer. Here we have Resolum running on uh, ASUS. Two capture inputs loaded on uh, uh, channel uh, layer 1 uh, or layer 3 in this case. So here I'm going to switch to uh, the input as the capture device and you can see it's being captured into the Resolume and here I can see I'm manipul manipulating the graphic on EMP and you can see the graphic changing in the software and I have it outputting full screen on my computer monitor. Uh, the global setup uh, in this, for, this, for this project in Resolume is set to 1280 by um, 720 because I noticed a significant slowdown when I was doing full HD project. Wasn't sure why but I'm pretty happy with this capture speed right now it's pretty smooth it's not as fast as what you see directly on the screen uh, because you are capturing into a computer at 30 frames and uh, some of the scenes in EDMT are playing back at 60 frames per second it's so it's producing a very smooth animation but it's okay in our case, I'm pretty happy with the result. Um, you can see slight difference in dropping frames, but it's capable of doing full HD capture uh, at 30 frames. So uh, here you can see I'm layering EDMT graphics on top of uh, VGA content in Resolute. So here we have Modulate. I have a demo copy running on my MacBook Pro and uh, with EDMT running on Nexus 7 being captured into my MacBook Pro 
And uh, I have to admit, I'm not a power user of Modulate, so I don't know how to change the resolution of this capture source. So right now, it's a bit low res and pixelated, but the good thing is it's very fast. You can see uh, it's very responsive. Uh, also, um, uh, the scene is uh, audio reactive, so hello! So you can see the graphics being uh, audio reactive to my voice right now. So you can see in Modulate I have the capture uh, in the group A uh, and you can apply all kinds of automated uh, effects on top of this uh, capture source. And you can crossfade into your other uh, group of layers. Uh, you can do some manipulation in real time to the music. Um, on the pad itself, you can see everything reacting. So. This is a really good setup for some live jamming with some generative graphics running into Modulate.